I'm Sal. I'm Beth. We are the brewery lovers here to tell you about our adventure in Sedona, Arizona. Yes. Sedona is south of Flagstaff. Correct. I don't know. I, I didn't know anything about Sedona. I knew it was a place that people went. That's all I knew. Getting there is half the fun, unless Beth is driving. Yeah. No fun for Beth. I don't like switchbacks. I don't like 3,000-foot drop-offs. Why not? I just look at the yellow line, and that's why I drive and you videotape. <laughs> no, my defense, I look at the map, and we were on a straight, straight road. I said, do you want me to drive before we get into that? And she said, no, I'm okay. I said, okay. She did. She did it. I white-knuckled it. I did it. <laughs> she did a great job. But it was... We're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it really wow. I heard it was really beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, here's the payoff. You get through the switchbacks, this is what you see. Holy cow. Yeah. Just. And I could look up when I was on that side of the road. If I'm yeah. on the mountainside, I can look. Yeah, well, this was out of the hairy stuff. This is like gentle curves. Yeah. But it just do- it, it just doesn't look real. It looks like a movie set. It really it looks like a, like a backdrop in a movie. This is the view from the main street in town. Of course, we were there in the off season, so it's not very crowded. This place probably gets pretty nuts in, oh, the, I'm sure. in the spring and fall. So we were there in the off season, which was nice. But you just it's just one view after another, and you can't believe it. It just doesn't look real. It was gorgeous. Of course, we also had really nice conditions. It wasn't too windy. It wasn't too cold. And we had nice light. So we did a lot of hiking. That's what we do. We see rocks. We hike. Yep. Pretty hike. Beautiful. Really pretty hike. Lots of cactuses. And it just it just keeps getting better. Yeah, and there's beautiful view after beautiful view. Yeah, take a little break here on the vista, looking at the rocks. <laughs> People get all excited about rocks. Why is that? I don't know. Rocks are clum- fun to climb on. Yeah. Hiking makes you thirsty. So what do you do after? Yeah, you have a beer. Uh, there's three breweries in Sedona, yes. which was nice because it was manageable. It's not like going to Vermont <laughs> 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 or uh, uh, San Diego. Where you have, oh, you have to do a lot of homework to make your decisions. Yeah. Uh, we only hit two. One was a little, I don't know. I don't know why we didn't hit the one. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know why we missed it. But yeah. But we anyway, did. we did two out of the Our three. Our apologies to yeah. number three. We did two out of three. This is Oak Creek, which was kind of cool. It, it was up on a hill, and it was kind of off the beaten track. I have a feeling this yeah. is a, more of a local's place. Of course, there weren't any tourists in town except us. <laughs> so we couldn't really test that theory. Uh, the beer was okay, and the, the, unfortunately, was the inside was crazy dark. I couldn't couldn't get a good shot of the inside, um, but just a typical little micro, um, and on top of a hill, and it was it was a nice location. But really, the highlight was this patio. They had these great big propane fires going, and this was where all the action was. And we got into some really interesting conversations. There on the left is a couple of, actually from Philadelphia. Well, he's from Spain. Right. And so he had a lot of great stories. We were talking about Spain and, and all that. and But they were from Philadelphia, Arturo and Kelly. So we also had the whole Philly connection, which yeah, was, fun. was fun. You don't meet too many Philly people out in, when you're out west. There's a lot of places that claim to make Philly cheesesteaks, but we haven't tested that. It's amazing how many. <laughs> like, almost every week we go buy a place, authentic Philadelphia cheesesteaks. Uh, I'll be, I'll be yeah. the judge of that. Yeah, yeah we but don't, we're, not. we're not. We're not being the judge of that. <laughs> not going to spend 15 bucks for a sandwich we'll and wait oats. wait till we're in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like we, we don't have to have it while we're here. So this is the balloon sunrise topic of another video. We'll put the link in the doobly-doo. But we were, well, you, at least when you're in Sedona, you see balloons. They're always up, flying around. And we went to the grocery store, right? You tell the story. So we went to the grocery store hey, and wait a seeing... Are we going to have beer in this thing ever? In a second. Let me tell the story. <laughs> um, we went to the grocery store, and in the same strip mall, there was the uh, balloon company. So I went in. We've both done the balloon thing, so we didn't plan to do that on this trip. But I wanted to see him taken off. So she said, just be here tomorrow at 6 a.m., and you can follow the team over there. So that's what we did. Yeah, it was an early morning. I think we late coffee that day, I think. Yeah. I don't think we got up early enough to make coffee. No. But uh, check out the video. It's really fun uh, watching them blow these things up with really giant gasoline-powered fans and then the giant propane torch. It's kind of cool. It was, it was fun. 
And it was also really pretty because, you know, Sedona. And balloons. Sedona and balloons and sunrise. What else do you need? But fresh, from a strictly beer point of view, the highlight was the Donut Beer Company. The beer was really good. I'm okay, just, so waiting. now I'll bring out the beer. So. Oh, good. Oh, that's one of their crawlers. Is there beer in there? Yes, however. <laughs> <laughs> the actual beer is gone. Yeah, well, that's long gone. <laughs> yeah, long gone. We thought it was a pretty label. It's such a pretty label. Yeah, they're no, also known for their night sky, so you can see. Whoops. Covering up, Beth, my bad. Uh, oh, yeah, this is just a generic Crowler label. I don't remember what L Luna Azul, it doesn't matter. Um, it was a wheat beer. We didn't have it. Yes, we did. We did? Uh -huh. Oh, was there beer in that Crowler? No, we he had didn't it just at the give brewery. Us, we got had the brewery. He, okay. I wanted this to take, but they didn't have any left, so he gave me, like, a crushed Crowler and a, With a label. label. Yeah, so I could have it. So, but uh, we're, we're actually drinking. What are we drinking? We're drinking Fat Tire Fat Tire Ale. from Colorado. Colorado. Well, that's kind of near Arizona. Yeah. This is a, an old... They share a border. An old standby from New Belgium and Fort Collins. Uh, one of the first really um, flavorful micro brews, craft beers, that came along. I had this in around the year 2000. Probably the first time I had this. And... Uh, we were like, wow, that's really good. It tastes like, yeah. I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like beer. It tastes like, doesn't taste like beer because all we'd ever had was other things. No, this is when we started to realize what beer is supposed to taste like. What beer is supposed like. to taste like. And here in the States, we'd had that experience in England. But it's a real pretty beer. Amber, bright. It's really flavorful. It's it's one of, it's the, one of their top sellers and for a good reason. It's it's yeah. easy to drink. What is it, 5.7 or something? 5.3? Yeah, it's they define it as low impact. <laughs> which is cute yeah i'm sure it says on here and i just don't see it it's uh 5.2 definitely uh old school in terms of craft beer it's been around a long long time yep here's a view from the street uh, of course there's a dispensary next to the brewery <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> a lot of dispensaries <laughs> in, no arizona a lot of dispensaries oh, in this part of the world there seems to be one on every corner. There was at least one occasion where we saw a dispensary across the street from a dispensary. Because, <laughs> you know, it's inconvenient if you have to turn left into the parking lot. That's the brewery in that little garden shed. Tiny, tiny little brewery. And they're really churning out some stuff. And they are. Doing a bang-up job. quality stuff coming yeah, out of there. Yeah, we thought the beer was excellent. <clears throat> Here's the tasting room. Uh, real nice place, colorful, uh, well done laid out lots of live edge wood but look at this patio every chair comes with a blanket yeah it gets a little chilly up in the mountains how sweet is that and everybody has their own little blanket but this patio a typical typical craft beer patio except for the blankets until you look up oh my god and you realize you're sitting in the middle of a picture postcard yeah, it's, a brewery in, it's a brewery in front of a, a painting this i thought was a cool idea they had the pin map well the people that have visited from all over the world Literally every corner of the world, people yep. go to Sedona. And these uh, pull handles were really beautiful. Uh, handmade glass pull handles. They kind of look like big quartz crystals. Yeah, they do. I don't remember the significance of the rubber ducks. I'm not sure we asked. <laughs> I'm not sure it's we not did the either. only brewery we've been to that had rubber ducks. What did we, uh, another will come later. Yeah, we've seen rubber ducks around. Yeah. That, that happens. That's happened more than once. What did we like there? Oh, we did have the Luna Azul. I think we liked everything. We had the Luna Azul wheat. Um, there was one called Farewell Cameron, and that was a sour, and we liked that. Uh, there was a pale ale called Bell Rock, Desert Trip Hazy IPA, Beachfront Property West Coast, and a lager that had salt and lime. Oh, yeah, that really lager liked. was very interesting. It was, it was nice. It wasn't, like, crazy salty, just a little bit, and it, and it did accent the lime very well. Yeah, and they were all great. But... Um, Great place. Uh, staff was amazing. Jerry, the bartender, was superb. He even uh, he's a hiking uh, guide, and he he recommended some hikes for us, which we we took, and they uh, turned out really well. Yep. Good advice. Yeah. Great advice. We like the place. Sedona's drop dead gorgeous. If you have the chance, go and especially check out Sedona Beer Company. Good. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. We're back. We do have one little tiny piece of constructive criticism for Sedona Beer Company. Fix the kitchen door. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know what you were taking a picture of. Yeah. Yeah. The door. The door? 